With the Odinga family holding the 30th memorial service of the family patriarch, many Kenyans remember Jaramogi Oginga Odinga for his fierce political style, ranging from the push to release Mzee Joma Kenyatta to the formation of the Kenya People's Union Party in 1966. However, little is said of his interaction with the people who described him as a firm but soft-spoken man that was keen on teaching the young people about the push for independence. Laura Ocheno met with one of Jaramogi's closest aides of nearly three decades and reports on the footprints of Jaramogi that continued to advance for the well-being of Kenyans three decades after his death. At Kano area in Nyando, Kisumu County, we meet 87-year-old Odungiranda. The walls of his house are decorated with pictures of his youth alongside those of the late Jaramogi Oginga Odinga. Odungi was a personal bodyguard to Mze Ajuma Jaramogi Oginga Odinga. For many, Jaramogi was a fierce politician, but those who interacted with him outside politics bear fond memories of a man that had the youth at heart. I remember meeting Jaramogi for the first time in 1957 when I was in Standard uh, 4 and we were being taught carpentry in a workshop and the man just came to Diru school uh, telling us me and your parents we are engaged in trying to free this country from colonial rule. As kids we were very excited. Odungi was only a teenager when he first met Jaramogi. A visit to a nearby dispensary in 1959 changed the trajectory of his life. I was talking dispensary. At 30 years of age, Odungi Randa became Jaramogi's personal bodyguard. The man who was recently coronated as the chairman of the Luo Council of Elders says Raila Odinga's style of politics greatly mirrors that of his late father. The Jaramogi Oginga Odinga Hospital is arguably the largest referral facility in the western region. Commissioned in 1969, the hospital was built following a plea by Jaramogi to the Soviet Union, which was looking to establish a socialist footing in East Africa at the height of the Cold War. To date, some residents still refer to the facility as Russia Hospital. In September 1969, the then head of state Mze Jomo Kenyatta visited Kisumu to commission the hospital. The visit coming hot on the heels of the assassination of Tom Boya, sparking a shootout that led to the death of 11 people according to official sources. The incident further sidelining Nyanza that had already been rocked by a series of political detentions as the state attempted to muffle dissenting voices. I think it radicalized people's minds because it's a barbaric act. Uh, even if Jaramogi uh, disagreed with Okonyata very openly and without any conflict, he didn't inside the crowd at all. But it was very difficult for Kenyatta to justify himself. In fact, I think, if anything, uh, I think he regretted it. In spite of the dark history surrounding the commissioning of the facility, the Jaramogi Oginga Odinga Hospital serves to immortalize the legacy of Mze Jaramogi Oginga Odinga. He went ahead and actually donated the space for the hospital. So probably we need to put up a statue of uh, the legend 
Jaramogi Oginga Odinga in this space. The name Jaramogi Oginga Odinga is synonymous with a number of development projects here in Kisumu and the Nyanza region at large. The most prominent being the Jaramogi Oginga Odinga Teaching and Referral Hospital. And as his family marks his 30th memorial, calls have been made for Kenyans to practice inclusive politics and fight against the vices of poverty, ignorance and disease. Laura Otieno, Citizen TV.